So, Cody, so we need to do another segment on the show. We're getting people sending in questions. Um, comments that require us to answer. Yeah. And some of the stuff I just don't know about. I have a friend. You know him. Oh. Yeah, I, I know you two don't get along for some reason. Oh. I've never told the story behind this. Who is it? Know it all, O'Reilly. You gotta be kidding me. We'll get Know it all, O'Reilly on the show. Give him his own segment. We won't have to pay him any money. The guy drinks like crazy. We'll just give him whiskey. We'll water the whiskey down. He won't even know. Okay. All right. And we'll have people send in uh, questions in the YouTube comments. Mm -hmm. And um, to his email. He has, we have an email set up for him. We'll get him on the show. Problem is, is he won't come on the show the same time you're here. I don't blame him. So, I mean, we're going to have to have him on when you're off doing errands or you know, later in the day when you're not around. Okay. All right, but it'll be a cool segment. We'll get him on here. People can ask him anything. You can, they can ask him anything they want. It doesn't even have to be about cars. It'll be about their love life, recipes, how to mix a drink. Yeah. Um, how to not piss off friends. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that last one's probably a. He'll definitely I'll, hit on that one. I feel like. Okay, so let's uh, let's do it. Let's get him set up. I'll leave that to you. O'Reilly, it's about oh. time. It's about time for your first episode on our That's show. You probably shouldn't be too dickered for your first episode. Oh, that's who I am. So oh. I'm gonna introduce everybody to you. All right. This is Know It All O'Reilly. Um, why do they why, why do they call you Know It All O'Reilly? Because I know fucking everything. You know everything. I know everything there is to know. Uh, we got to do your segments when Cody's not around because for some reason you and him can't well, be the fuck same him. room. Don't even say it. He is the one who must not be mentioned ever. Well, at least when I'm here, anyway. Is there something you got wrong with Cody? What did, Fucking, uh, what did he do? Up. I came in the other night when I was uh, on my way back from the pub there, and uh, he was sitting there and fucking slamming my mother. He was getting after your mom? <laughs> you have a pretty big mom. Uh, oh, I know I do. Oh, I knew Cody liked the big girls, but I didn't know. I'm about to rub that in. I didn't know anything about this. Well, anyway, so the way this works is we ask you questions that people send in, and um, we actually have an email set up. So people can just email questions in. It'll be at the end of the segment. And we actually have a couple from online as well from our videos. People have asked us questions. Okay. okay. And um, if you're ready for it, we'll get right into the questions. <sighs> Hold on. I might need a little more of this. I have some questions. Okay, let's hear them. Okay, O'Reilly. Miranda from Miami asks, Why does it say, Objects are closer than they appear, on one of my mirrors, but not the other. Huh, somebody went down and put some circus mirrors on your car and trying to fuck with you, huh? No, but seriously, they put uh, the mirror on your passenger side concave so then you can see more of your blind spots. Okay, our next question. Are you ready? Let's hear it. Lauren from Texas wants to know, what is the difference between tires and wheels? Well, Lauren... The difference between tires and wheels is that the tire is the rubber part that goes on the wheel. And the wheel is what gets bolted onto the car. Okay, O'Reilly, now from our YouTube channel in the comments section, Dan Guros wants to know, um, he says that a set of 411 gears would probably help us out in Project Black Hawk, with, especially with those 60 foot times. What do you think of that? Well, uh, I think if we were going to uh, stay all motor with the car, that the 411 gears would be fine. But since our, in, our end goal is to turbocharge it, we're going to actually need taller gears instead of shorter ones. All right, another question from our YouTube channel comment section. This one's from Raimundo. Raimundo says, um, what about upgrading the camshaft on the Camaro? I'm sure it'd be a lot of fun for us, for you guys, and for the viewers as well. Not to mention it would work well down the road with the force induction or power adder. Well, there again, uh, we are going to be staying with uh, more just motor and getting all the power we want out of the motor. That would probably be the best idea or a great idea. 
But, in, again, the ultimate goal is to turbocharge this vehicle. So, the stock camshaft is going to be sufficient enough to hit our horsepower goals. And we might still, with the stock camshaft, overshoot our horsepower goals. Okay, O'Reilly. So, last one for the day. Uh, this is also from our YouTube comment section. And the user's name was Apples Yo. Apples Yo. Yeah, he, he says, and this is not in the form of a question, however, it's a, it is a statement that needs to be answered. And he says, this was good. Only problem, one episode, a month. I can't wait for more. Well, you're not going to have to wait for more because uh, my, buddy, my buddy Craig and, uh, you know, you say Cody, uh... They're coming out with uh, more things to show you in between the big episodes, such as their Tired and a Reasonably Priced Cart, the Tech Episode, and then they're paying me for the segment that I'm doing right now. Well, you know we're not actually paying you. We're giving you all the whiskey you can drink. So you're paying me. So uh, I guess I'm done here, and this one's for you.